Hi, I'm Barry Knight. I'm the company general manager. Uh, my core activities basically is the day-to-day the -day run of the company um, uh, and also technical sales. Well, basically, Joseph Clayton established the company in 1840. At the time, he was a cobbler using leather. Then he went on to become a courier. A courier is someone who actually takes leather and makes it more uh, usable. He colours the, the leather to a shade. He might uh, split it or sky it down to a thickness, etc. Uh, and then in the next sense, as we found, it actually uh, became a tanner, um, employing about 70 people. So the business had, had grown rapidly in the very early stages. In 1945, at the end of the, the Second World War, there were approximately 5,000 heavy leather tanneries. Uh, there's now three. Um, these are traditional tanners carrying out the, the, the vegetable tan process in pits. Uh, in total, there's probably about 14. We're diversified. Um, and we have become very specialised in what we do. Um, every tanning discipline known to man, we carry out. So vegetable tan, possibly for, um, for wallets, um, equestrian products, um, aluminium leather for things like cricket balls, chrome leathers, etc., etc. We're also uh, known as a heavy leather tanner, and by that I mean we make thick leather. Um, uh, there's very few tanners in the world that could actually make leather as thick as this. Um, one is, is knowing how to do it, but also uh, the time, the commercial aspects. Well, we talk about the, uh, the, the sharpening and polishing properties of leather. Uh, we supply leather to a Chinese manufacturer who makes razor blades. Um, on my last visit, he told me that uh, a competitor's leather was analysed and he gets 60,000 um, razor blades cut and polished out for one bank of leather discs. Uh, he then went on to tell me that he typically gets uh, 22 million razor blades from a bank of Clayton leather discs. Well, we've been working closely with uh, ETC now for about eight years um, on specific projects um, and also the odd uh, telephone call um, just to ask the odd, odd question, basically. We hope that this is going to continue because the, the, the current climate is increasingly difficult for small businesses. With the expertise of ETC and the university, we get to continue support. And it's good to know that there's always an expert in the background who can throw light on, on the problems we have. Over recent years, um, there's an awful lot of pressure come from European legislation um, to try and clean up the industry, or industry in general. Uh, what uh, ETC have done, they've helped us in looking at best, best available technologies um, and how we can apply it to our industry um, to make things easier. Over the last number of years, uh, we've invested uh, quite a lot of money um, and time uh, looking at new technologies. Um, and as a result, um, all of our waste streams have been reduced. Uh, there is less effluent going out, um, less waste products going to landfill. Um, there's certainly more recycling than ever before. Um, and as a result, we're actually a cleaner, a cleaner company.